Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about the transformation doctor. But I'm going to show you how I used to do things, and I still do it occasionally. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. I'm going to double click on the rotation and put it in the center, and I'm going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees, and then I'm going to du duplicate it around. So it took 15 keystrokes to do that. So let's just back up. Well, I don't want to back up that far. Whoop. And now we have that same shape. Well, if you go to Arrange, Transform, I call it Transformation. They call it Transform. Go to any of these, but we're going to go to Rotate because any of them come up. And then hit on Rotate. But you've got to click on your item. We're going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees from the bottom 16 times and you get that same thing. And the reason you'd want to do that if you were making a flower, then you could weld it and there's you a flower. And you could always change. We must have two copies up there. And let's back up here. I had two duplicates on top of that, I think. So we could do that. We could go to the center and apply, you know, come up with a completely different flower that quick or, you know, even leave it like that or back up and let's rotate to one corner. See what happens. I mean, look at that. I mean, just a couple of keystrokes, uh, you get a unique looking flower, you know, all different kinds, shapes. And this, I mean, I'm not talking about just doing flowers, but you can change the corner of your rotation. Instead of double-clicking on it and moving the center of your rotation, you can tell it what node to go from the side, the center, or the top, or the bottom. You can tell it's its angle and how many copies you want. You can put all that in. Uh, let's just do something else real quick. Let's uh, draw a box. Control-D and make another box. Control D and make another box. And then let's group. Well, first of all, we're going to press C to put them in the center. And let's group them together with Control G. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. You can do the same thing with these boxes. It's a group now, so it's going to rotate to the center. I mean, look at the weird shapes you could come up with. I'm not saying you'd ever do that. But let's go from this bottom. I mean, there are some geomet geometrical shapes in there that are pretty cool. And if you possibly welded this together, I don't know what you would get. I mean, that's pretty cool in itself. Anyway, so try the under transform, which is under arrange. Try the docker that, so you can click on any of these. And then when you get to it, just click to which one you want to do the size the rotation, the position, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.